Israel's brutality has united many nations and cultures to fight a common enemy. There is now a formidable military unit in Iraq that consists entirely of women. And as CCTV's Michal Bardavid reports, their fight against ISIL is fueled by a mix of passion and a need for vengeance. Victim, helpless, weak, words often used in this male-dominated culture to describe Yezidi women. Meet the Sun Brigade, a new all-female Yezidi fighting unit. They are strong, confident, brave. In August of 2014, Islamic State attacked the Yezidi-populated Sinjar province in Iraq, spreading terror and brutality across the area. ISIL militants raped and tortured Yezidi women. Many of them remain in captivity. These young Yezidi women volunteered to help, each one highly motivated, each one hungry for revenge. We are ready to liberate our captive girls, women and children in ISIL prisons. We have a higher cause. As long as they remain ISIL captives, our role will be to attack the enemy and defend ourselves. Strongly determined, they exercise and study weapons, receiving complete military training, preparing to fight ISIL. When approved by the Peshmerga ministry, they will be sent to the front lines. Deputy of Sinjar Commander Brigadier General Smemala Mohammed tells us these women have no fear. They don't really care whether or not their lives are in danger, because all these Peshmerga forces with us are those who have sisters, brothers and relatives who have been victims of ISIL attacks. Meanwhile, Sinjar Mountain continues to be a battlefield. Airstrikes shake the ground. Smoke fills the sky as the fight against ISIL continues. But Peshmergas have become experienced. In order to prevent suicide car bombings, one of ISIL's main weapons of attack, they dig trenches in surrounding areas. Cars seen approaching are destroyed kilometers away. Peshmergas have proven to be very effective in recent months, liberating dozens of villages from ISIL with ongoing offensives. The newly added female Yezidi fighters are only expected to make them stronger. Michal Bardavid, CCTV News.